Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. We got a kind of rare one here tonight. This is Bally's Bump and Jump. Came out in 1982. And it's the dedicated cabinet. Way back in the day, this was one of the first arcade games we ever bought. We got it at an auction really cheap. Not this actual one, but one that looked just like it. But, uh... It's a fun game. I really like these ones like this that you don't see too often, that are a little little different. This is a yet another game that was released for the Nintendo, though, so if you had an NES, you might have played it back in the day. It's got really cool uh, kind of creative artwork on it. You can see that the, the cars, whenever they jump, the wheels bend in, apparently. Or I guess they're just like that, because the yellow one's like that, too. It always reminds me of Up and Down, the Sega game. They're not really that, that similar, but I always get the two confused. Bump and Jump. Got a unique-looking cabinet. We had a Lazarian one time, and I believe it's in the same style cabinet. I might be wrong about that, but... If memory serves me well, check out the cool uh, glass marquee, silk screened with great art on it. You can see this truck here is dumping crap on the road, dumping rocks on the road. Then you can see this yellow car is banging into the green car. Deal with it. Bally Midway, licensed by Data East Inc. 1983 Bally Midway Manufacturing Company all rights reserved it's got a nice silk screened uh, bezel too and so you are jumping John ain't he cool You go forward, you go fast. If you go back, you go slow. So let's read the instructions, shall we? Well, let's. You can see kind of what's going on with the on the screen. Basically, you try to bump all the cars out of the way. Let's read the instructions, though. What's their official official uh, way of uh, describing that? Instructions: bump and jump. First, insert coin. Second, select one or two players. Eight-way joystick controls car, right, left, and the speed. Forward for fast, back for slow, and center for no change. Jump button allows you to avoid other car, water, or obstructions. Your speed must be over 100 miles per hour to jump, obviously. Bump other cars off the road for points. So that's the whole thing very simple you bump and you jump I always think of that cool uh, MC Hammer song whenever I see this one there he is jumping John look at that look on the side it says midway super jumper There you have it. Bump and jump. So I will set up the tripod and we'll bump and jump our way through this classic and see if I can get anywhere. All right, folks, that's the best I can get the camera. That little line that you see going through the screen. Bloop, bloop, bloop doesn't even exist you can't see it in real life but you can see it on the camera and it's because the camera is running at a different speed than the refresh rate is on the screen so we're going to play through it a little bit oh you might have saw that it said deco that was uh data east's cassette tape um system that they had for a while and this was one of the games on that so let's coin it up
like most of the Bally games, Midway games, it has excellent sound. So we're going to bump and we're going to jump. Ooh. It seems like the faster you get going, the better you can bump. <laughs> but you don't want to bump into the wall. And I said you can jump if you get going fast enough. And you can smash the cars if you land on them, which is a little tricky actually. And if you let them hit you, if you let them hit you from behind, it kind of pushes you forward, makes you faster. too close to the edge. Uh-oh, 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 <laughs> oh, I almost saved it. smash two cars next way is spring oh man all right I made it to spring we'll try it again see if I can get any better Sometimes I can. Oh, we can continue. Isn't that special? Oh, yeah, I did it. Deal with it. getting any points unless you knock people off the road though you know or smash people uh-oh uh-oh If you, if you jump too much, like I was doing, it works fine until you run up on a place where you need to jump, like I just did again. There we go. I smashed five cars. drink I keep
Those ones seem a lot harder to bump off. But you can always smash them until something like that happens. coming. I think this is my last car. What? Mm, I got dealt with. Continue, shall we? Mm, I keep doing that. I'm jumping at the wrong time. fast enough. Alright, we made it. Fourteen cars that time. Next way is fall, people. See, there's, there's little mini obstacles now. There's like little short ones. extra points because I landed on that little tiny island. See if we can get the winner. <laughs> I wasn't going fast enough. Man. 
it's hard to get the timing just right. I guess you could watch your speed and do it. You know, there's a little speedometer in the up top left there. Hmm. Or I guess you could go to Safeway over here. One last man, or buggy, one last vehicle. Oh, and that's how it's gonna go down. Isn't that horrible? I can't cheat like that. I can't get the, one of the high scores just because I continued. So there you go, folks. That's how Bump and Jump plays. Fun little game. There's like, 35 levels or something like that it just keeps going and going and going but it they're different patterns but it repeats the same themes over and over again so it goes through the uh the seasons and then the first board doesn't really have a season it said 32 courses so uh it's a cool game i think you're i think though the best way to play it is to actually try to get a lot more points by bumping more cars off the road you could probably try to bump like every car off the road but it probably just keeps spawning them but hey, it's a fun game. Now, by the time you see Bump and Jump, it may have bumped its way off to somebody else's uh, game room. We might not even have it for sale anymore. But you can see all of the games that we do have for sale on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com and check it out. And it's always up to date. It's always got all of our uh, latest games, pictures, prices, and descriptions up on the website. Now, if you're local, you can come by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a uh, showroom full. I don't know how he gets that super jump like that. We've got a showroom full of games here at all times. Now, if you're not going to come, come by because you don't live anywhere near us, and you're not going to check out our website because you don't want to go buy one of our games. <laughs> That's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. And uh, make sure and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up anyway for taking the time to film the video. And uh, leave your comments below. If you're much better at this than I am, probably isn't much of an achievement. Most of you are probably much better at this than I am. But uh, leave your tips and tricks below. Let me know if you've ever played this back in the day in the arcade or if you like the NES version. And uh, we will see you on the next video.